name's Rob Reddy from MP3 Car. There's a bunch of new parts that we've added to the store this week that when you combine them together make for a really nifty car computer bundle. So that's what we've done. We've taken the Intel D945 GSEJT and combined it with a new Morex T1610 and also the pre-existing P2140. So let's start with the motherboard. Motherboard is very cool, uses 1.2 amps at low power, will spike all the way up to 4 or 5 if you have to have it loaded up with devices, but Windows XP Home, standard install, expect 1.2 amps. Um, it has dual display output, VGA and DVI. It has three USB ports on the back, Ethernet, and it takes 12 volts in, which is really interesting. And we've also put a port on the back of the T1610 that isn't standard, but we, this is a modification that MP3 cars made for this specific product to allow it to integrate in with the ignition of your vehicle, automobile, boat, whatever you happen to be installing this in. So very low power, it's fanless, and an impressive board. It takes a two gigabyte so dim, so that's the maximum amount of memory that can be put in here. There is an E25 ruggedized hard drive, which is an industrial grade type of drive that you can put in your jet, whatever you need to put it in, but that's in here. Um, and then it's powered, if you want to, put it in your vehicle by a Kinetics P2140. So this takes anywhere from seven to 35 volts in, and then outputs 13 amps if you needed it of 12 volt power for the computer or for any other device that you might need. But again, in standard installations, you're only going to use 1.2 amps. So the other fun thing about this case is that it's just standard aluminum and we have a hydraulic press that we can use to add more holes into this case to expose some more of the motherboard headers that are in there. So we punch the holes, we add a nice little looking grommet like this, and then we can expose things like the two COM ports that are on there, there's a parallel port, there's PS2 ports. If you wanted to, we could do an eSATA port. There are four extra USB ports on the, header, on the motherboard headers that we can use. So all in all, we're hoping this is gonna be an exciting package and we'd love to hear what you think. So jump on our forums and thanks a lot for watching our blog.